This video is on converting between volume, capacity, and mass. And so we've been doing some work with 3D shapes and coming up with the volume. And we get units like centimeters cubed or millimeters cubed or meters cubed. Um, volume, remember, is the amount of space that an object can hold. So like how much water or how much um, sand or sugar or air or whatever. And so depending on what the... Um, what it is you're filling it with, the unit could change. For example, if you look at a bottle of water, the unit isn't in centimeters cubed, it's in milliliters or liters. Um, if you look at a bag of sugar, the unit isn't in centimeters cubed, it's in grams or kilograms. And so capacity is the amount of liquid that an object will hold, and mass is the amount of matter that is contained in an object. And so um, we can convert between grams to kilograms to tons, and et cetera. So this one here, this T, that's tons. That might be new to you. And this one is milligrams. Up here, this is kiloliters, which means a 1,000 liters, liters and milliliters. Um, so the conversions are very similar to our metric conversions. Because this is looking at um, a volume measurement, we're looking at each step being worth three decimal places. It works the same way otherwise in that if you move to the left, your decimal moves to the left, and if you move to the right, your decimal moves to the right. Um, you can come up with a saying if you want to remember the order. I don't have one for these, but you can certainly make your own if that's easy for you to remember a little saying so that you know which one comes first and second and third. So let's just look at some examples of how this works. So to go from grams to kilograms, just like we did with metric conversions, we're going to find grams and then we're going to move to kilograms. There it is right there. Because each step is three, that's worth three, we move to the left, so that will be three to the left. Again, we find our decimal and we move one, two, three to the left and we get 0 .007. A gram is quite small. So a gram would be, um, you know, maybe the amount of sugar in like one sugar cube, for example. A kilogram, picture um, a, a bag of sugar is about two kilograms. And so think about how many little cubes of sugar are going to be in that um, big bag. And there's quite a few. And if you do the reverse, one gram is not very big then compared to a kilogram. Um, let's look at another one. So let's look at liters to milliliters. So again, we're going to find liters on our chart and move to milliliters. That will be three to the right. So we find our decimal and we move one, two, three to the right. In this case, we're just adding three zeros. Again, think about a milliliter, one milliliter. Picture that sugar cube, but picture it filled with water. That's about one milliliter. A liter is, uh, well, 500 milliliters is a, a bottle of water, so two of those is one liter. So there's going to be quite a few milliliters in a liter. Um, let's look at the next, oops, sorry, I erased the wrong thing. Let's undo that. Let's look at the next example. So in the next one, we're moving from milligrams to grams. So we find milligrams, we find grams, we move three to the left. We find our decimal, we move 1, 2, 3, that'll be 0 0.0012 grams. And last but not least, liters to kiloliters. Find liters, find kiloliters, we move 3 to the left. Again, find your decimal, 1, 2, 3, that'll be 0 0.005 kiloliters. So it works very much the same way. The only thing that might be difficult is remembering the order. And as I said, if you want, you can make a little saying. Um, so let's look next at what the, oh, some of that got cut off. Um, let's see if I can move it a bit. There we go. Um, so what's the relationship between centimeters cubed, milliliters, and grams? So it depends. Every object is going to have slightly different weights. But if we base everything on the weight of water, one centimeter cubed is equal to one milliliter is equal to one gram. And so we're going to use that for the purposes of the math that we're doing. So if a container holds 300 centimeters cubed, what would that be in milliliters? Well, 
because one centimeter is one milliliter, one, sorry, 300 centimeters cubed is equal to 300 milliliters. Now, how do we get that into liters? Well, remember, our little chart was kiloliters, liters, milliliters. So to go from milliliters to liters, we need to go three to the left. So we find our decimal, let me move one, two, three to the left, and we'll get 0.3 or 0.300 liters. So now we can go from centimeter cubed all the way to liters or kiloliters or whatever we'd like. So let's look at another one. It says, what is the mass of a box that holds 40 centimeters cubed in grams? Well, one centimeter cubed is one gram. So 40 centimeter cubed will be 40 grams. Now, how do we get that into milligrams? Well, remember this was grams, here was milligrams, here was kilograms, here was tons. So if we make our little order from grams to milligrams, we move three to the right. And so we find our decimal, we move one, two, three to the right, and we'll get 40,000 milligrams. Now this last one's a little bit tricky. We're going to go from meters cubed all the way to milliliters and liters and kiloliters. But the conversion at the top is in centimeters. There's a relationship between centimeters cubed and milliliters, not between meters cubed and milliliters. So guess what we have to do first? We have to change it from meters to centimeters. So if we remember our King Henry died accidentally on a Monday doing conversions in metric math, meters was here, then we had, so decimeters, then we had centimeters. And there were more, there was millimeters over here and decimeters here and so on. But to go from meters to centimeters, that's one, two steps. But because we have cubic units, it's three, six. So um, five meters cubed, we need to move six places to the right. So five meters cubed will actually be five million, six places to the right, centimeters cubed. Because one centimeter cubed equals one milliliter, that will also be five million milliliters. Then what do we do? Well, it says, what about liters? What about kiloliters? So now, hmm, how do we go from milliliters to liters? Well, up here, milliliters to liters, that's three to the left. So now we move one, two, three to the left and we get 5,000 liters. How do we get that into kiloliters? Well, liters to kiloliters, that's another three to the left. So one, two, three, that's five kiloliters. So actually we've just shown that one meter cubed is equal to one kiloliter.